Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to episode 2 of my let's play of Pillars of Eternity. Uh, is it Dead Fire in it? So it's Pillars of Eternity 2 Dead Fire. Okay, very quickly, I haven't decided if it's going to be a second slot or a main slot, 15 or 25 minute episodes yet, so I might just do 25 for a bit, and once I decide if it does become a secondary slot, I'll just probably just go to 15 there. So if it is a secondary slot, hey, you got a bonus for a few, uh, some episodes. Uh, I'm recording this very quickly on the 27th of August. I've just done my first recording since my daughter was born. Obviously, when this episode goes up for Pillars, I again, I've decided they may go up this year. Uh, in, the, you know, um, Elix's two slots. I'm thinking of maybe doing two sins, this, and the trail thought right now, and then carrying on with the two star fields. Might not do that yet, I'm not 100% sure. So you might be seeing this next year, even the year after, I don't know. But uh, as of uh, recordings, you know, when did episode one, I think it was the last thing I recorded on the channel before my baby came. And now it is now the 27th. Uh, and very quickly, obviously, it, it, you should also or know if you watch uh, Ken's Sheet, why well, just recorded 299, series 5. But uh, if people just watch the Pillars episode series only, uh, she is named Freya. Freya Dawn, and her surname, you know, my surname. And that, so basically, Dawn's her middle name, and it's Freya. So she goes with her, our other daughter, Aurora Destiny, with obviously my surname. I don't normally give my surname out on the channel, my direct surname. In games, when I do a surname, I always like using Reeve. That's not my real surname. I just like that the, like that name. <laughs> okay, we're going to talk to you, weren't we? So I'm probably just going to record two episodes today, by the way. Okay, back. Sorry about that. I had to cut away already. I just got a phone call. Someone Tiffy upstairs. Ray's cracking your hand it to me. <laughs> so I'm upstairs hand it to her because wrists are hurting her a bit. I said I'm just doing these two episodes and coming to bed. Uh, oh, very quickly, if you want to know if you're interested, I don't think I said this in Kenshi, how long I was in the hospital for with Super Tiffy, it would have been two nights, almost three. A little bit of funny story, actually, I can just say very quickly about, depending on where you look at it. Um, I didn't know this, but basically, again, this is a little bit on the thingy side, but ba apparently babies need to poo at least once every tw first 24 hours, and then they, they expect within 48 hours to have two more, so I went with three poos. And I forgot what the peas were in day one, but it was two peas by day two. And I emphasise this because they said basically she's done her poop for day one, whatever pea number it's supposed to be. And day two, she's pooped like two or three times. And she said she's fine for poop, she needs to pee twice. And it was like, is this, is this a pea? And, and the person's like, that's a partial, we're not 100% sure that's a partial one. Because they make the lines go blue enough, it's partial. So we're like, okay, it's partial. And then she had this massive pee. I mean, it was ridiculous how big it is. To me, that's two peas in one. Or you can't flip with a partial, that's two peas. But anyway, they're like, no, it's one pee. She just has to pee one more time. And we thought we could go about 12 that day. We already stayed one night uh, and about 12. And, and she didn't pee by then. And obviously by the 48 hour mark would have been, she was born at 6.53, by the way. Could talk your time. Um, so basically, by the, the, the 6.53 is the, the cutoff point. And we're like, you know, begging her to pee and, you know, everything. It got to 6.53, 6.54, she hadn't pee. Like, oh. It came to about 7.02, because uh, 7.05, something like this, because they, they swap over the shift. So the, and so the old person came in who was looking after us, and the new person was, oh, there's a new person looking after us tonight. And Tiffy's asked, what happens? Because she hasn't peed. Uh, when can we go if she pees? And then it's as soon as she peed. So basically, she pees at 11 at night, we can leave. So we're like, okay. And then he goes, to, and the new person says, open a nappy, uh, it might stimulate her to pee. So we're like, okay, okay. So we open the nappy. Again, this is probably 7.05, and say so we look at probably 7.8 now, after they left, and my God, ridiculous about poop. Just, it was massive. So, and they told us to tell them, because they can check it, there might be pee in there. So, we, we thought, well, poo probably won't be, but we'll t t tell them. Because they also don't check for Jandras. She doesn't have that, luckily. But every poop, she just check for Jandras. So, well, Tiffy says, can you bring the nurse back in? She pooped. And he's okay. So we cleaned it up. Uh, and that. And then I said to Tiffy, um, so, so what's going to go on? Like, now we need to pee what's happening. And then another poo came. So, like, oh, I'm okay. Cleaned her up. Bum, 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 bum. Got a new nappy. Put it underneath her. I was like, well, so many poos, why is there no peas? Then another poo, tiny little thing. I'm like, oh, and then she peed. And it was like a little fountain. 
and we would never be so sad to see P in the live. We were like, yes, yes, P, 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 go, P, P, live. This comes. We can go home now. And then they came in, and we said, Chippeed. And they said, do you have the nappy still? Oh, sorry, correction, American army. Do, do, do they have the diaper still? And that, and we're like, yes, right here. And they go, y y I'll go get your papers then, and I can discharge you. And so we're like, yes, I start getting ready to get it. <laughs> and then we we finally got out. Again, I got mixed up with this. And I said, oh, I got mixed up. I was saying, when we get home. I thought we got home about 8 30 ish. Because I remember looking at our clock and thinking, it's Aurora, because she's back with us now. Um, as we got picked up and uh, reunited with her, etc. I'm thinking it's 8 30. She goes to bed about 10. She seems she's hungry. I don't know if they've given her any tea or anything when she's staying. So, like, we'll feed her now. And she can sleep a little past, you know, 10.30-ish. She tend to put her dead to between 11, normally aim for 10. So, we did that and let her play a bit. She went not seen her for, like, over two days. She, she did visit, but, again, that was, like, an hour or so. So, we're basically doing... Uh, and we've never been away from her before this at this point. You know, like, for a night or anything. This is the first time. So, like I said, she's then eating her food. We're playing. And then I was like... Mm, we need to put you to bed. It's getting past ten. It's like ten thirty. So I put her to bed, and uh, she is all oh, good with it. Goes to bed night night. You know, wave, kiss kiss, all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. And then I look at my phone. Twelve thirty. So I'm like twelve thirty two. I'm like, okay, what, what? What? I thought it was eight thirty. Sorry, I thought it was ten thirty. What the? Go downstairs. Realize the power been off. The the clocks were wrong. Seriously. So I thought we got in like 8 o'clock, 8.30, Tiffy had to look at the cameras, apparently we got in about 10. I think it was 10.02 Tiffy said we actually got in. And we're also up to 12.30 because again, because <laughs> I thought it was 8.30 going on 10.30, like, oh my god. So not only we, we, we got out and got home by 10 o'clock, almost had to stay another night, completely fudged up with the time, because when I got home I didn't look at my phone, I used the house clocks. Not realising the power knocked off while we were out. Oh my god. <laughs> but I put the funny part was got baby. That was what I was getting at. Anyway, let's let focus on the game now, shall we? Because probably a lot of you not, don't really care or bother about that. It's just obviously, it's just happened. Again, when you're watching this, if, if this is bloody next year, <laughs> and then it happened last year, but I thought, oh shit. Again, it's 27 past, uh, tw 27 past August. That does not make any sense what I was going to say. Uh, it's 27 of August. 2024 I'm recording this and she was born on the 22nd and then we and that was the Thursday and we got out like I said on Saturday and at 10, 10 o'clock at night apparently when we got in <laughs> okay let's chat with this guy oh he's smoking is that a pipe I wish I could zoom in more hope the rest of those sodden bastards made it Oh. Oh, God. I don't know why I didn't click. I was, at last episode, I was thinking, oh, there's a random ghost here. Thinking he's... There's a ghost on the island. He's one of the crew members with me. At least my leg don't hurt anymore. Wow. So you're the crew, hey, you die. I'm see-through. <laughs> Hope the rest of those sodden bastards made it. All right. I'm sorry you didn't make it, mate. How big is this island? Doesn't look like it's too big. So we're probably gonna find bits and get on the boat. Hello. Talk to you in a minute. I think you were here first. Oh, no, dead one. So, Rennie. Hey. Oh. Fancy seeing you here. Yeah. Warps and shifts muted, as if by a great distance. Even so, he grins brightly at you. I can't see much of anything really. I'm sorry, mate. You. Just endless grey. Oh, what happened? What happened? She ran around the grand storm. You died. Oh. Afraid you didn't make it. Shoot, go toward the light and all that. Clever. You didn't make it, you, you idiot, you're dead. Cruel, wow. 
Can I be able to shoot? Hopefully I can go back to them. I like to tell them what happened because he did ask. Storm? That's strange. You'd think a man would recall a storm. It's like it's like someone cut away a part of my memory. There's just this big black hole. It's weird. I thought death would be different. Big light and so on. I should go with that. I don't see anything at all. Just you. Reverend charged me with guiding souls to afterlife, so I suppose you're my responsibility now. Okay, hopefully I'll get back to that thing you want. Oh. Suppose that sounds nice enough. I'll follow you then, shall I? Come along then. Shrug if you must. Stardick. Don't you dare. So, oh, that must be I think I turned on. We can see it. Yeah, come along then. Follow them to step behind you, radiant cheer. You're stuck with that. Yep, mate. Unless I'm stuck with you, apparently. If I'm not mistaken, you were the most cocky and annoying uh, companion from Pills 1, if I'm not mistaken. Because you're the one with me. Not a problem. We'll take everything we can right now. So we have to go there to get back up. Was she a companion? Oh, she was, wasn't she? The fight is looking far worse for wear after a respected landfall. The hull has split in several places along the Ikea while the tatter sailed evidence of your battle with the pirates. Hopefully we're not leaving. The deck of the fight is well out of uh, reach from here. Ship groans like a, a beach whale, can time. Uh, well, each time the waves roll in, but it doesn't seem to be listening further. You may be able to climb up. Scale the hull by the hand. Drop up a grappling hook. Use your grappling hook. So, I guess that's going to use it up. I think I put that quite high, didn't I, athletes? The deck. Oh, yeah. You may be able to climb. Weather check. Watch your check. Oh, one. Can I? Okay, that's not very really good. That man failed? Okay, grab the hook. Good throw. And the hook sails up and over the rail, catching firmly. A few tugs suggest that the grappling hook should hold fast. Result, you have lost an item. Uh, so once we get down, we'll get up again. Use grappling hook to climb. Makes the sand considerably easier and you could you soon find yourself climbing up and over the rail. Hopefully we get back down again. There's some more stuff I need to look for. It's on the leg. You're looking better, Casita. That or I'm worse off than I yeah, thought. Yeah, she was expanding too, <laughs> wasn't she? The sheen of sweat on her brow and the wand cast to her features bellows. Ir Ir Irana? It's casual greeting to continue. It's my leg. Matiko, it hurts even worse than it looks. Iran's leg bears a bloody gouge along the length of her shin, and the swelling around her knee suggests a nasty break. What happened? Have you seen anyone? Self and party. Oops. Oh, this sis, that makes it pretty nice. That's, I think that's because I turned the arm, but I'm glad I have. I like that. Because so, that's one thing I think I struggled with this in the past, and some other type games like this. When it goes, we, we need a role of athletes. Like, who has the strongest athletes? The strength, who's the best strength? <laughs> who's doing this? <laughs> Craft a splint from some debris. I'll patch you up best I can. So that's a free. But you want to stay off the leg as much as possible. Oh god, that's 15. Hang on, I'll carry you back down. That makes more sense. Okay, that's horrible. But that's 15 for crying out loud. Quite romantic, Casita. Oh, was it going with that, but okay. I'll to hold it against you if you drop me. That's fine. Is there romance in this game? I can't remember Pills 1 had romance. I don't think it did, did it? Well, if it did, my character didn't go down. I don't think they did. Maybe they added it for this one. It'd be nice if they did. Uh, I like that stuff in the games. I think it's cool. Oh. Oh, so I took it from the ship. Okay. 
Oh, there's nothing else I need to grab before I grabbed you then. By any chance. I probably can't get back up there again. Oh, open this. I guess this is our little camp right now. I think we did you for... Oh yeah, because we were here, weren't we? Well, over time, 15. So yeah, normal leave. This is 100% seconds slot. I'll be stopping now, but... Since I'm not sure yet, I'll go for a 25. And plus I went a bit longer thingy. Probably coming back up there now, can we? Okay, maybe I can because I already got that one touched. Oh, okay, there's nothing else. I was hoping these bags could grab. Alrighty. I'm thinking we'll be heading this way. You want know, a guy was eventually? Oh, hello. What was that same? Uh, all characters in the game have four defenses against attacks. Deflection, Fortune, Tude, Reflect, and Will. These defenses are based on their attributes, level items, and other effects. The more powerful the character, the higher the defense will be, and the harder they will be hit or affected with abilities. Yeah, I would have put affected, but okay, effect. The attack roll is a random number between 1 and 100, to which is added the difference between the attack's accuracy and the target defense. Based on four things that before, I assume. Accuracy is less than defense, the attack roll suffers a penalty if accuracy is greater than the defense, the attack roll gains the bonus. A higher final attack roll is always better. 24 or less equals miss. 25 to 49 grays, 50 to 99 equals hit. 100 plus is critical! A miss has no effect, a hit has standard listed effect, a graze does less damage and has a shorter duration for effect. Critical does more damage, has higher percentage, penetration sorry, penetration, and a longer duration for effect. Okay. What's this one? I'm to read this one here. You have found the ingredients, in, uh, ingredients, ingredients can be used to enchant unique weapons, armor, shields, as well as craft food, scrolls, and potions, and other items. Select in the uh, party stash to view your ingredients. Look at that later. Okay, you. That was easy enough. Just say the word. Can do. The word is the bird. Watcher, over here. Uh, in a minute, mate. I want to see what's up here first. Oh, one of my people, I guess. Isn't there supposed to be a light? I'm not help her. Didn't think death would be so boring. Sorry, mate, probably is. There's nothing for miles. Is it on an island. Didn't think death would be so boring. I feel there's a guy done why 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 is it such one person? Why can't I guide that person too? Are we over there at all? Oh, nope. Oh, you were the guy who was on my thing, weren't we? He warned us about the pirates. It's good to see you well, Watcher. Helping hands. I believe the boars were hoping for easy meat. Well, he didn't get that. <laughs> uh, Chit Upek greets you with a relieved nod and checks the pistol at his hip. The bosun, Beodal, is in that cave over there. Ran in after a boar. Stubborn old dwarf. I need to go and help him now. So why are you out here? What happened? I'll look for Beodal. Get back to the beach. <laughs> we meet you there. I'll look for Bella. I will make for the campfire. I must get this pistol cleaned if it's going to be of any use. Be careful in there, Captain. Got you. So is he a new companion then? Because I don't remember him from game one. I guess we're going to the sea cave. I see a cave, we enter. Place. Okay, I feel it's bigger than the bloody island we're on. Of course it is. Okay. 
Oh, stuff. Press the... Okay, ah, there, I was going to say which button. In the lower centre of the screen, or use the alt key to have the select characters in a stealth mode. Achoo! I don't see no stealth right now, yeah? I'm doing the balls that's what we use. First to head this way. No, a no, mate just told us our dwarf friend went in here, so obviously not. Oh my god, you're an idiot. Not a problem. What's this? Okay, is this a dead end? So we check first. I think that's the route we need to take. Oh, but they've got some stuff here. What's this? Grok. Isn't it great how we've been stealthy and we have like a little flying dragon right behind us like buzzing around? We're like, oh god, there's a flying dragon coming at us! <laughs> Not a single word. I think. <laughs> Is it? Yeah, okay. We're gonna fight. Get from behind. Yeah. And I'm boom. <laughs> Whoa! I hate him. Says, "Oh, that was a poison." When a character in stealth enters the hearing radius or vision, I'm calm. Oh, I was gonna say, "Come by." <laughs> I don't know why. Come by, ya, yeah, my lord. <laughs> Come off bystanders. Bystander. The bystander will start to detect them. The rate of detection is determined by the character's stealth, skill and the level of the bystander, and it is faster in the vision cone Okay. than in the hearing radius. You can hover your cursor over any character while in stealth to see their hearing radius and vision cone. Oh, you can throw stuff to... Cool. I'll reread read a little bit that in a second to make sure I know which is the difference between the cone and the finger. Some items such as noisemakers, I'm sure it's doing, can be used to distract and move bystanders while you explore and stealth. Uh, the level of bystanders, the faster in the vision cone than the hearing radius, you can hover over, curse over the character with stealth to see. Hearing radius. Oh, okay. Oh, got you. So this is the vision, so the cone, but the circle is what they can hear. And they're gonna pick you up. Obviously, with the vision, a hell lot faster than with the hearing. Got you. I hope we're not supposed to avoid these on purpose because they're gonna kill us. No, that's fine. Ow. Quick and quiet. Whoa, whoa, look. What's up here? Just say the word. Need a hand? I'm on it. Oh, I'm a rogue too. Some of those get yes. a backstab thing. I don't know how it went with that rogue. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't work. Ow! Did I just turn into... a bear? I didn't tell myself to. Need a hand? Oh, they have that, um... auto thing, don't they, on this? <laughs> with the AI control, man, I prefer them doing that, but I can't want, I'll control myself. Death to our That's how it's done. Yeah, I'm a bloody cool. Not a problem. Okay, where was that AI thing? Hmm? Ready when you are. Active auto attack only. Yeah, I want to control my own abilities. I'm fine with attack only. Ready. You can have your AI on. Ready when you are. I want to keep all attack only, and then I control what I turn into. Yeah. It's pretty cool though. I just turned into a Marla. Can do. Back up the details. Okay. Still no sign of BOF. How much longer are we going to wait? The wet's already ruined half our take. And get your stinking construct under control. It's been, oh great. It's been hanging out by the, that crystal. Is that not the middle finger? I swear it's been giving me the eye. Bet it is. Can we pick lock? Mechanics 1, party 1, total 2, cost 1 in stash 5. Okay. What's in here? 
That'll do it. it, has a, it as long as you have the right number and it tells you that's where you go, to make sure it's guaranteed if you have the correct store. Something here. I feel like that could be the crystal. Let's see what's up here first. Where are we? Not a problem. Not a problem, mate. Picks good. Use one game free. And you know what? We're gonna save here. We're at 26 minutes, and we're gonna end here and come back with episode two. What I'm gonna do straight after this, and hopefully get through the cave with that. So I'll see you next time. Everyone. Have a great one day. Bye.